it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a tutorial for these adorable earrings and this beautiful multi-gemstone bracelet that I made using the beads that I picked out from Panda Hall. Um, there is a coupon code I will leave below and it's YXYTBJA for 10% off your order and it's valid until June 6th of 2024. Now, I did an oh excuse me I did an unboxing for this video, uh, for these beads, and then I did this necklace for my first tutorial, which I will leave a link below as well. So I'll leave a link below to the unboxing of all of the gemstones I bought, and then a link below to this necklace that I made, and then this is another tutorial I'm doing for them where I'm showing how I made the bracelet and the earrings. So this will be a full set when it's done. So um, yeah, so if you wanna learn how to make this, then stay tuned. So to start off with um, a bracelet and earrings to match the first tutorial I made with this gorgeous multi-gemstone, multi-metal mixed brace uh, necklace, I'm going to start off with some beading wire. And I'm just using some Silver wire. I'm going to cut. Let me see. I'm going to cut a little extra. So I'm going to probably cut about 16 inches. I'm just going to have it wrap around twice. But I like to have a little bit extra just in case. So let me check. 12, yep, 16 and a half. Okay, so I'm going to start, um, I'm gonna close off the one end already because I think it's easier when I do bracelets. So I will show you a trick and I, oh boy, these are all junked up together. <laughs> I'll put the second one right there so I don't lose it. And then I have a lobster clasp. That. Then I have um, two jump rings, like a small one, and then a bigger one to put the thing around it. Okay. And then there's two crimp beads. I need, to, I'm gonna use one now and save one for later. Drop that in there. Okay. So I'm gonna put all the extras. Get that in there. I'll take that, okay. So I'm gonna start by, um, I have so much stuff here on my workstation. <laughs> I end up, pile this stuff on. Okay, so I'm going to open up. I have a real tiny jump ring. And I'm going to open that up. I'm going to put the lobster clasp in and close it. And my pet peeve is when lobster clasps or jump rings are not closed all the way and there's a chance that something could slip off. So I always, especially because I make jewelry and I sell it on Etsy, I'm a stickler about those things. Okay, so we have that. Now, I'm just going to start by taking, I'm just gonna open this up a teeny bit. I'm not gonna go too far down. And I'm gonna put the, this on. And then we're gonna start off. I'll probably go about down about this far because I want to tuck it in. So I will start by really closing that up like this. And then put that up and I'll yank on it to see if it's movable or not. It's not. Oh, I will take this, push this down through. So I could feed it down through the beads 
You could do this at the end. Doesn't really matter. I tend to like doing this if I get it, you know. So I have that like that. Close that up a little bit there. And then I close that. So I have that. Then I take my round nose pliers and I just bend that just a teeny bit back to put that little groove in there. I put this on and then I feed that up. I put it about right there so that it has one little circle. So, so we have a nice polished end. Let me move my pieces. And then I will start, as I start feeding the things on, I will make sure that that goes through to everything. So I'm going to put this. And I'm going to put one of these. There's no copper ones. So then when I go down a little farther, I just make sure that it goes through all of those. Like that. Okay. And once I get down far enough, I'll know that, you know, it's okay. Let me see if I have, here it is. So what I usually do is like, I'll get some of those in there and then I'll put that little crimp there just to keep that tight against there. And then I can put the other beads. Silver. And then I'm kind of following a similar pattern, but not, not too crazy as far as trying to be perfect with how this goes. Okay, so now this will totally cover these. Okay, so see how I got that? And I put that there. Then I will put a Hishi bead. I'm going to put some of these out. Oh, and then one, two, three, and another Hishi bead. Just to add that little mix to it. Make sure that it's over there. Then I also, I started using these little disc beads. They're kind of like a rose gold copper, and they're thin. But if you add a few of them, it gives, see how it, you know, it makes a little more, a little thicker of a color. And then I'm going to go back to that. I just felt it fly over somewhere. Hmm. This and green and this and then the carnelian. Look how pretty that looks. Then I'm gonna do three more of these. One, two, three, like that. And the hishi bead. And then one, two, three. And another hishi bead. Okay. And we're going to go with round. Then I'm going to do, I'm going to change it up into a green. And one of the copper. And an orange, the copper, 
and then a green. See how it just there? We kind of just mixes and matches it like that. What I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a copper and then a hishi or copper and then a carnelian and then another copper like that. And I'm gonna do here. I'm going to take one of my um, square ones and then one of the copper and the square like that again. Wait, hold on one second. I like to have them when I put these on I have them kind of facing the opposite ways so that it they kind of st stick out a little bit more if that makes sense. I'm gonna put a green like that. Then I'm gonna put a, a disc and then a carnelian and a disc and then a green. See how that's all coming together. Look pretty on. Okay. Now we're going to do copper. I'm going to do a round one with the copper so it'll kind of stick out a little more. A rose gold, shall I say. I'm going to do three of these beads with one black in between. Two. Okay, so we got like that. Then we go with the rose gold. And then the circle, and then the rose gold. Okay. So this is looking really pretty. It's and it doesn't really it doesn't really have too much of a pattern. It's like it does as far as the colors, but you know, then it. I'm gonna do that. One, two, one. Wait, hold on, I'm gonna. One, two. One, two, three. And then two more of these. Another green. See how that looks really pretty like that. It's got some different colors going on, some different patterns. Then we're going to do this the circle and another one of these going forward. Okay, now uh, let me get a few more of my carnelians here. Need all of these. Okay, I got these. Now we're gonna do a carnelian, a copper, and a green, and a copper, and another carnelian. See, 
and then we're going to do this circle and then this. Let me see how long this is. It's 11. I usually make it to like 14, a little bit bigger than 14. I usually measure it around my, my um, um, my wrist. That's where I usually go with this. Okay, so now we're gonna do a green or a carnelian. One, two, three, then a green. One, two, three, and then a carnelian. So we got this. No, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to do two of these. And then a hishi. And then two more. <clears throat> One, two. Well, it's almost there. So see how it's just got all these different textures going on in here. I love this. Okay, so now I'm going to put a copper, a silver, another copper, and then I'm going to do a silver, a green. Silver, carnelian, and a silver, and a green. And then one of these, and then a copper. Now I'm going to clip this and measure it. It should be a good length. Might be oh, it's a little might be a little too long. Hold on, maybe twelve. I'm going to check it around my wrist. Actually it's perfect. <laughs> okay. So we're going to finish this one off the way we did the other one. I've got the crimp bead. And where's my little round nose? Here they are. So I got the round nose pliers. Let me move this out of the way. So I'm taking the crimp cover. I'm going to put that on first. And now I'm, I'm making sure you kind of dangle it to make sure there's no holes, you know, you don't want to squeeze that. And then all of a sudden there's a big space and you put the crimp cover on and I'm kind of holding it up like this. And then what I do is I just very slightly move that. Hold on one second. I didn't grab that all the way. There we go. I give it like five good, really good squeezes in there. And if you pull that and it doesn't come out, you're good. And you take this wire, feed it back through. And it'll eventually pop out somewhere. Sometimes it won't. And if it doesn't, that's even better. 
Oh, here it comes. Okay, I'm left-handed, so I have to grab that with my left hand. Okay, so then I pull that all the way down like that. I close that. And I take this. Squeeze that just a little bit. I make sure, okay, that's totally closed. Take this and bend that just a little bit. Jump ring. Put that up and twist that over. Then I have this little piece right here. Without cutting the wire you need, <laughs> you cut that wire. Move some of these beauties out of the way here. And then you have a beautiful two strand bracelet that goes with the necklace. Look how pretty that is. Isn't that gorgeous? And I thought we would just make a quick pair of earrings to go with these two. So I'm going to use my silver. Silver head pins here. Okay, these are two inches. And then I have some ear wires. Where did they go? There they are. And you put these three together and you have a beautiful birthday present or Mother's Day present or Valentine's Day, Christmas, <laughs> Hanukkah, whatever you celebrate. Okay, so let's see two of these little he-she beads for in there. So I'm gonna start the black. Let me get a few more of these little tiny ones. Okay, so I always take this right here and I will go and just straighten that so that it's straight. Okay, then I like to start, I always like to start with a little seed bead on the bottom. Oh, that one doesn't go all the way down. Hmm, this one doesn't either. Let me see here. Wow, these aren't going down to the bottom. Well, then this one should. Nope. Okay. We're not going to start with the seed bead. We're going to start with the agate. I mean, uh, carnelian. See how I keep calling it that? Okay. Then. Copper. And I'm going to do one of these discs right here. I'm going to do a disc and then a black bead and then a disc and a hishi. And then a disc and a black bead and then a disc. That look pretty. We're going to go with a green. And one of these. Then one of these. Then I'm back with one of these. An agate. 
or a carnelian. And then I'm going to do one, two, three. So this will be the first earring. Then I use my roundness pliers all the time for this. So this is really pretty like this. So then I go up just a little bit farther. Oh, bend this, keeping the C bead on there. bigger and make that ring right there okay let's finish this off then so we've got this we we'll use the copper I'm putting this let me grab a few more of these little disc beads okay We have this. So see, and then I just kind of put it next to it. Like whenever I do earring tutorials, I usually, I'll do one earring off camera. And then when I like the way it looks, then I'll turn on the camera and show you how I made the earring. Then this, let me go with another disc and another black seed bead. And then that, we were right there. Let me take one of these beautiful green babies. <laughs> then we'll put a silver one. And then that and that. And we do a carnelian. And then three seed beads. Some of these don't fit. One, two, three. Okay. Okay, so let me do this. Let me bend that. Let me bring that closed. And see how pretty that is? Then I'm going to take that, put this through. I'm going to, oh, oh, sorry about that. Didn't want to scare anybody. Oh, wait, this um, doesn't have a thing on it. Do this one. And there you have it. Let me move these. So this is the second tutorial for Panda Hall. And with this, I made these gorgeous earrings and the bracelet to match this from the first tutorial. Look how pretty that is. This would make a perfect gift for somebody. So um, if you're interested, I will leave the link below, like I said, to Panda Hall. And I do have a coupon code. It's YXYTBJA, all capital letters, for 10% off. It's valid until June 6th of 2024. So you have plenty of time to order and more to more. <laughs> so, um, I will leave links to all my social media below as well, my Etsy, Instagram, Pinterest, and Facebook account. I will leave the links to Panda Hall. I will leave links to all of the jewelry that are all the beads that I used here. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. 
so you get notified and hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video and I will see you on my next video. Thank you so much for watching.